so we have what is the atomic mass of silver okay now I'm actually glad we touched base on the whole uh, atomic element um, versus molecular element versus molecular compound because it will actually help us here okay silver okay is known to be an atomic element aka silver is perfectly fine as in as you've seen like things made of silver and stuff just being by itself okay it's probably like has like metallic bonds of the silver but primarily you can think of silver just really isolating itself and being content with it um, that is how silver likes to roll okay purely made of just itself specifically individual particles of silver now because we know it's an atomic element that's how we can actually now just simply refer to the periodic table all right and pick out the atomic mass for silver okay so here it's written 107.87 and we put the units okay the reason why we can write that is because exactly silver is by itself so we don't need to multiply that atomic mass with any ratios or anything like that we just take it straight from the periodic table and that is going to be the atomic mass like I said if it was for some reason like a molecular element like oxygen for example if you look at that oxygen is O2 so whatever you saw in the periodic table you'd multiply that by 2 to get the um, molar mass okay and this question actually even helps you further by specifically asking for atomic mass because when you see atomic mass it's no longer referring even to um, like you wouldn't see atomic mass of a compound that is structurally not doesn't work because when they ask for atomic mass they're referring straight to the periodic table and that number that's going to be at the bottom of the element box that would be the atomic mass okay so with that being said if they were to ask and this would be a trick question in a sense the atomic mass of oxygen you would not multiply by two it would just be what it says right there because of the fact that they're asking for the atomic mass of an oxygen atom not an oxygen molecule okay and they do have that 107.8682 grams per mole and this is correct um, so with that being said I do want to stress that the most important part to me really is that you have to make sure you're watching what they ask for molar mass is not the same well molar mass is not always the same as atomic mass okay just want to put that out there atomic mass from the periodic table and molar mass can require some further calculations. Now is one of the questions.